Hey, what's up guys? Mario here. So this is gonna be the final video about the homemade CNC and some of the things I actually did to finish it up even though there is still a couple things I gotta do to it. But one of the first things I did was the packing table. It's actually made of two pieces of MDF three quarters inch thick. The bottom half you actually just have grooves or channels for the airflow and the top half has quarter inch holes one inch apart here at the bottom there is some PVC pipes and that's being used for the for the uh, vacuum table to actually have suction on each on each piece that I actually want so by turning the valves I can either have all all the backing table to have suction or just half or just a little piece you know whatever section I actually want the other thing I actually did was just to put right here all my tools instead of before I used to have a, a table on the side with a little tool holder. Now I just have it right here in the front. So it's a little easier to uh, change my tools when it comes to uh, changing tools. Right here in the bottom is uh, on the corner is actually my, my uh, emergency stop button. You want it somewhat close to this uh, table in case something happens you can actually press it but you don't want it like let's say right here in the front in front of you if it's gonna get in your way and then you press it by mistake so that was another thing I did I'm gonna show you right here a couple switches I actually put but this is just like a, a I'm not sure how to say like a, a disclaimer I'm not an electrician, so don't judge me on the electrical part. But I put a couple switches that turns my that turns the power for the uh, servo motors and turns the power for the uh, Ethernet smooth stepper. I actually have two more switches. One is for the backing table. And the other one is for my uh, dust collection system, let's say even though it's another vacuum that I just have up here, but it comes it comes and connects to the dust shoe right there. Um, now I'm just gonna show you how it actually moves. So I'm just gonna turn Mac 3. And now I'm gonna show you how he actually moves. I actually left it at 250 inches per minute moving on on the X and Y direction and 100 inches per minute up and down. Uh, the servo motors can actually move it a lot faster but I mean in reality uh, I don't cut you know faster than 100 inches per minute so moving the machine at 500 inches per minute is not gonna do me let's say any good if at the end I'm only cutting uh, 50 and uh, let's say maybe a maximum of 100 inches per minute so I left it at 250 which is you know plenty of speed for me to move it in case I need to move it from one corner to the other corner but I don't need it to be uh, 
super fast just to go from one corner to the other corner in uh, one second let's say so this is how he actually moves So I think it rolls really smooth, uh, there is uh, no binding, no, no jerkiness, uh, overall it's, you know, it turned out to be really good. It did, took me a while to finish it and that's one of the things I want to say, um, was it worth it to build a CNC or is it better to buy a CNC? Uh, it really comes down to time and money uh, time is actually money so if you actually have the time to spend to build a CNC then maybe you can save up maybe a couple of hundred bucks than buying a, a, a CNC but if you don't really have the time or you don't have the tools to make all the precision cuts um, then it's not really worth it uh, you might end up buying special tools it's gonna take you a long time and if you don't really have the right tools it might not turn out really good so at the end it might be better to just buy a CNC than trying to build your own unless you're trying to build something that no one is actually building so then maybe I'll say give it a shot but like I said my my take on building a CNC for me it was an experience uh, I learned a lot of things that you know I couldn't have learned if I were just bought it but it did come to you know to costing me a lot of time I guess you can say um, one thing I didn't really like was when I bought the uh, Ethernet smooth stepper. I bought a breakout board, a C25 board, which at the beginning, you know, I did a lot of research. I saw a lot of people saying, you know, it, it's a good match, uh, everything works, but I couldn't figure it out. Uh, I kept having uh, some issues. Uh, the board likes to take power in instead of uh, negative inputs. So, when I wanted to do like a touch plate it kind of required me to have power on the tool and then or power here and ground right here or just signal on the tool and power right here but even though the whole frame is not grounded uh, it will manage to pick up just in a slight signal of a ground I'm guessing and every time it touched the 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 plate it will just you know trigger a fault on the whole uh, ethernet smooth stepper and then i had a couple issues with the proximity sensors if it was maybe a mechanical switch it wouldn't have been an issue but because these are proximity switches and they require power and then they give actually power as an output it, for me it didn't really work out with a C25 board. I still have the Ethernet smooth stepper but I actually use a different breakout board that's really simple it cost me I think like three or four dollars so it was a lot cheaper than the C25 and it worked out perfect for me um, I have connected my uh, touch plate for my uh, zero tool uh, my proximity sensors 
and I even connected my high level feedback from my uh, servo motors from Technic. Uh, the only thing I have connected to the uh, breaker board C25 on the Ethernet smooth stepper is the signals going to my motors and my and my uh, emergency stop which I could have used it with the other piece that I have but you know at least put a little use to the C25 board that I bought so overall I am happy with you know how it actually turned out it just like I said it did take me a while to 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 get it I guess I did have a, a little issues here and there while I was building it uh, one was you know the plates had to be really really flat if you're gonna go with this type of uh, linear, linear bearings uh, they don't really like uh, unevenness or uh, you know misalignments nah. so everything has to be really close to perfect let's say you know in order to roll really smooth and move you know really smooth um, but and then you know the issue like I said with the uh, break up board on the Ethernet smooth stepper but I managed to fix you know all the little things and like I said now it actually moves really smooth it cuts really good um, I mean compare this machine to my old machine which is a Chinese 6040 CNC uh, there is no there is no comparisons here really uh, they know the other one I can go like this and the whole uh, spindle will almost flex back and forward this one they know flexing uh, if you hear right now that little noise is just the uh, uh, smooth steppers trying I mean the the Technic ser servo motors trying to hold that position so even if you manage to barely move it it will go back to the position it actually was but was there something I could have changed to make the whole homemade CNC cheaper now that it's actually finished I looked at it and I think uh, for me there is probably not a cheaper way to do it I could have gone with uh, thinner or smaller aluminum extrusions but overall I think it will compromise on the stiffness of the machine so I don't want to say I, I wanted to cut corners there uh, maybe I could have went with uh, st uh, stepper motors instead of servo motors but then again when I compare these uh, servo motors to my old uh, stepper motors I don't hear no noise from from this the other ones used to have like a humming a grinding noise something similar to that you know even though they weren't doing nothing it was just on and they have like a harmonic noise um, so overall I think just building it the way it is I think it turned out really good if I would have uh, went with a uh, skinnier uh, you know maybe my old uh, stepper motors it wouldn't have turned out to be maybe as good as, as it is right now so that's, this is gonna be it for this video if you like the video don't forget to like share and subscribe you can leave me a comment down below or any questions you have about this CNC maybe I couldn't answer or show you some of the things you wanted to see so just leave me a comment and I'll try to get back to you thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time